Hello to everyone and welcome back to my channel. Somewhere in the middle of July, I decided that I'd like to grow an avocado plant from the pit. Nowadays, we all have access to the fruit. We can afford to buy an avocado. So it became easy to propagate this plant. All you need to know before growing an avocado. First, you don't expect it to give fruits. It's very rarely that the avocado that is planted from the pit will give any fruits. So you grow avocado for the purpose of getting a beautiful plant for the decoration of your house at the end and just for the purpose of enjoying this process of growing something from zero. The avocado that you will buy for the purpose of propagating it should be ripe, first of all. The pit itself should be of medium or big size. Because I've bought two avocados, the one was with a medium size pit and the second one with a small size pit. The former survived and gave sprouts and the latter didn't. As I've already told you, the bigger pit survived and the smaller one didn't. So that's the first stage of propagation of an avocado pit. You can see that for this purpose you need to cut the bottom and the top part of the pit it is done for the purpose of getting the sprout more quickly. Then you can take toothpicks. Don't worry, the shell is rather soft, so it will be easy to put them into the shell. But don't put them really deep, just on the surface, so that it could hold the pit under the water. And you need to soak it into the water. But look at how I did it. You don't have to place the whole pit into the water just the half of it. From time to time, when the water gets dark, you need to change it. The pit should be placed in fresh and clean water. In the middle of August, that is one month after placing the pit into the water, the first sprout appeared. And be careful that the pit should show the root and the sprout at the same time. In the beginning of September, the sprout gave first pair of leaves and at this point, you need to put the pit with the sprout into the soil. The soil that I've bought was with the marking for big home plants. I know what you might have thought, but no, that's not an avocado. Among all the plants on the windowsill, the avocado sprout looked really tiny, but the adaptation period was okay. And that's how the avocado sprout looked approximately one week after putting it into the soil. What you need to know about an avocado is that it grows really quickly and that's how it looked in the second half of September. I was waiting patiently for these long leaves to appear. Certainly it can grow faster, but by coincidence all my experiments happen during autumn and winter when we don't have enough sun. One habit that you need to adopt when you are growing an avocado is spraying it every morning or evening with water. Avocado really loves showers, just because that's a tropical fruit. Avocado plant is changing really quickly, and that's one week apart from the previous footage that you've seen. And here, you can clearly see that the leaves of the avocado are getting longer. My cat created a perfect background for noticing these changes. By the way, her name is Vivienne. It's incredible how all of it works, that in two months from just a small peat, we have a fully grown plant. That's why I adore growing everything from peats and seeds, even though that's a long process. But I'm not in a hurry, I enjoy it. It brings lots of happiness and rejoicement into my soul. That is the very end of September, and you can see the avocado plant changed a bit. The colour became deep green and that's because lately we're having a lot of sunshine. So another tip for you, apart from spraying it with water every morning, try to place it on the window ledge where you have a lot of sunshine. Or in general, if you don't have a lot of sunshine, think of buying a phyto lamp for the plant because it really adores sun rays and light. We are in the beginning of October. Look at how it transformed completely just in a matter of a week or two. It started growing new leaves and the ones that you saw in the previous footage 
became longer. So that's my dream plant. I love this long green leaves. I'm sure that during the remaining part of autumn and during winter, this plant will become even more beautiful. So if you want to track the process of all the exotic plants that I'm growing on my window ledge, just subscribe to my channel and soon enough I will provide the updates on all of them. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. Goodbye.